Imagine. Woo! Yeah. 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 And action. Hey kids, welcome to Imagination Science! <laughs> yeah. 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 We're going to learn about today. What are you going to learn about? Something, no, but it's something that's all around us right now. Jesus! <laughs> Not Jesus, but that's close. <laughs> it's light. What kind of steel light? See it? <laughs> There's one! <laughs> Now the way that light works is that, do you know what happens when the light turns on? It goes blink. Yes, it goes blink. And when it goes blink, happy little light rays come out. And they and they travel in straight lines, sort of. See, there's a straight line. Yay! Now guess what happens when, when happy light rays encounter glass, like a window? It stops. No, because you can still get light through a window. But but what happens is that it bends. The happy little light rays bend when they pass through the glass. Whoa. Ah. Now guess what might happen if they pass through a lens, which is curved glass. They don't go through. They they still go through because <laughs> you can still see the light afterwards. They, they they do bend. They bend. Convex lens. Apparently, they figured out to put two convex lenses together with the sides touching. You can do the same thing with a bigger lens. Except you got more light out of it, less glass. Apparently, it was more efficient. I didn't want to believe it until I had to try it. It made my life hell. <laughs> yeah. What? This isn't funny. This is why I'm in here. I don't want to hear this shit. This, this is why. Heat fractures is the only bad thing about these things. <laughs> Man, you turn these things on too many times, keep turning them off. This is what happens, this is how you end up in here. With me. None of you kids want to have me. So lame, Cole. <laughs> yes! Yes! yes. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, get ready to step to the oldies. Remember, 
The only difference between that step lens and the double plano convex lens is that the step lens actually has steps taken out of it. Yay! Yeah. 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 <laughs> so remember, if the steps eliminate the negative characteristics of a thick, short focal lens while keeping the same optical properties. <laughs> All right. And remember that the step lens uh, has a black ceramic coating around it that eliminates the spectral breakdown. <laughs> oh, this is great. <laughs> All right, oh, oh, this is my favorite song. Dead to the music. Dead. Characteristic soft glow. Back my head! <laughs> they used to be used in uh, reflective spotlights, but new lenses have become more efficient since then. Open the bar doors! because our brains can interpret things and change the colors, blah, 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 blah. blah. No one wants to do theater anyway. No. We want to make money in film and television. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're going to use lighting instruments for film and television with Pyrex glass, then that's going to give you lots of color matching challenges. Ooh. So we turn to borosilicate glass. Borosilicate glass! Borosilicate glass! Borosilicate glass! Borosilicate glass. And it transmits more light. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about the price. The innovations in lighting instruments have caused. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> Mr. Person through the television. <laughs> Less glass needed to transmit the same amount of light. So, um, yeah, you can get it for like four easy payments of nineteen ninety-five. Yeah, what? 